Uh, <coughs> Taoiseach, uh, I want to commend the peace and anti-war protesters who have challenged the shocking bias of your heavily stacked so-called forum uh, on security uh, matters, uh, stacked with people who are pro-NATO, pro-EU militarization, uh, and with almost no voices uh, of those who would be warning against and concerned about your de facto pulling us closer uh, to NATO, an alliance dominated by powers who also have a bloody history of wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, and uh, Libya, and many other, uh, many other places. Isn't it, Taoiseach, a bit Orwellian for you to say, uh, we're not getting involved with NATO, our neutrality is safe, at the same time that we had NATO commanders in Cork recently assessing our troops, that we're involving ourselves through with NATO, Thank through you, PESCO, uh, and through uh, the to, battle groups. Uh, doesn't it make your commitments about protecting Thank neutrality you. completely Thank hollow? Um, not really, Deputy. It's, it, it's, it's very, very clear. Um, we're participating in PESCO. We're founder members of PESCO. Uh, we had a referendum on the Lisbon Treaty, people uh, voted for it, uh, and I was proud to lead us into PESCO uh, 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 during my first term as Taoiseach. That's uh, European uh, structured cooperation on defence and security. In relation to NATO, we're not going to join NATO, uh, but NATO is made up of countries, many of which are allies, um, like EU states, like the UK, like the US and Canada, and we cooperate them with them through the Partnership for Peace and have done for over 20 years now.